Hi, I'm John Bennett, CEO and co-founder of Air Oasis. In this video, we'll be discussing how to select the right air purifier for you. And we'll also talk a little more about our latest air purifier, the iAdapt Air 2.0. One of the most important factors when selecting the right air purifier is room size. So to make sure the air purifier is sized correctly for your room or your space, then you wanna look at the CADR rating of that air purifier, sometimes also called CADR, which stands for clean air delivery rate. It's basically just how fast that air purifier can clean the air in that space. You'll want to know the square feet of that room and the ceiling height as well and you'll compare that to the CADR to make sure you can get at least four to five air exchanges per hour, which basically just means you're cleaning the air four or five times every hour in that space. And you'll also want one air purifier per room that you're trying to clean, because there's not an air purifier on earth that can clean an entire home. So you wanna focus on each room individually. If cost is a factor, then you can focus on just the spaces you spend the most time in. Another important factor is noise. Some people enjoy a little white noise while they're sleeping. Some people don't want any noise in their home and some people are in between. So often when you get an air purifier with a higher CADR rating, it also comes with more noise. Sometimes it's a whiny fan noise. Sometimes it's just a clean air swishy noise. So it kind of depends on what you're after. So those important questions to ask the manufacturer. Noise is usually measured by decibels. So look at the decibel per fan speed, look at your CATR rating per fan speed, and make sure you select an air purifier that can cover your space efficiently on the fan speed and decibel rating that you're comfortable with. Now let's talk about the types of filtration or technologies available for air purifiers. So depending on what you're trying to accomplish or what contaminants you're trying to remove from your air, the technologies used will be very important. If you're just looking for simple dust removal, then just a good filter will do for you. If you're looking to reduce odors or VOCs or chemicals, then you're gonna want some sort of absorption material such as carbon or other absorption options. If you're looking to reduce anything biological like mold, bacteria, viruses, things like that, then you're gonna want something that can act as an antimicrobial, which could range from UV to ionization to PCO to even certain coatings that can accomplish that for you. And there's even many devices on the market today, which will include several technologies to cover the full spectrum of air purification. So just make sure you take the time, look at the technologies they're using, the layers of filtration, to make sure it's gonna accomplish what you're setting out to do. Another important factor is cost of ownership. Let's be real, these things are not cheap, but the cost doesn't stop with just the price of the device itself. Most of these will have filters you have to replace on a regular basis, which could be anywhere from three months to six months to two years. They may have other components such as UV lamps or a slew of other things that may have to be replaced on a regular basis. So make sure you're paying attention to that to figure out what your annual cost of ownership will be. Another important factor on that topic is the energy usage. So you may wanna look for a unit that's Energy Star rated or similar to make sure that it runs efficiently so you're also not wasting extra electricity. To make sure your air purifier is well suited to your lifestyle, let's talk about features. In today's world, there's tons of options on air purifiers. I mean, these things will come with air quality sensors, particle sensors, they'll have multiple fan speeds, timers, smartphone apps, filter replacement indicators, night modes, you name it, they can do it all today. Make sure that it's well suited to your lifestyle by looking at the feature set that it comes with. Before we get too far into the details on the iAdapt Air 2.0 series, I do wanna point out they come in four different sizes just to make sure you can select the perfect size for any space within your home or business. Let's talk about the different types of air filtration technologies used in the iAdapt Air 2.0 series. The iAdapt Air 2.0 series contains an H13 medical grade HEPA filter capable of reducing up to 99.99% of particles as small as 0.05 microns in just minutes. This means it can quickly reduce mold, dust, dander, pollen, bacteria, mold, viruses, beta-glucans, you name it, just about anything floating around in your air can be trapped in this H13 medical grade HEPA filter. Carbon. 
to absorb airborne chemicals, biotoxins, and odors. The silver ion filter, which consists of a specialized coating of silver ions, which sterilize mold, bacteria, and viruses that come into contact with the filter. The Iodap Air 2.0 series contains germicidal UVC LEDs. UVC LEDs are capable of sterilizing mold, bacteria, viruses, and other biological contaminants. We chose UVC LEDs instead of UVC lamps because they are more energy efficient, they have a longer lifespan, and they have a more consistent output and are less prone to fluctuations due to temperature and humidity. Bipolar ionization, sometimes referred to as our seek and destroy technology. Bipolar ionization takes water vapor or humidity already present in your air and breaks it down into positive hydrogen and negative oxygen ions. These ions then form a hydroxyl ion on the surface of contaminants such as mold, bacteria, and viruses. The hydroxyl ion will cause oxidation and therefore sterilize the contaminant, rendering it harmless. The iAdapt Air 2.0 series not only looks great, but performs even better. So one of the best ways to measure an air purifier's performance is based on its CATR, or clean air delivery rate. So let's discuss the clean air delivery rate of each one of the four sizes of iAdapt Air 2.0. We'll start with the small. The small iAdapt Air has a clean air delivery rate of 177 CFM. While the medium is 353 CFM, the large comes in at 530 CFM, and the largest of the four sizes, the iAdapt Air 2.0 Pro, comes in at a staggering 706 CFM for its clean air delivery rate. Just to put things in perspective, what's typically considered a good air purifier will have a CADR somewhere around 300 to 350 CFM. So basically at 706, we're doubling what's considered a good air purifier. The iAdapt Air 2.0 series also does a great job of reducing VOCs, chemicals, odors, and biotoxins present in your air. Lab tests show reductions up to 99% in just a matter of minutes. In third-party accredited lab tests, the iAdapt Air series has reduced viruses such as H1N1 up to 99% in just a matter of minutes. The iAdapt Air 2.0 series was recently tested by an ISO 9001 NABL accredited lab against five molds and three bacteria commonly found in water damaged buildings. The test results show the iAdapt Air's ability to reduce up to 99.99% or a five log reduction of these contaminants in just 15 minutes. Safety is also a very important subject when talking about the iAdapt Air 2.0 series or any air purifier for that matter. It has been tested to UL standards for both ozone and electrical safety by Intertech Labs. So the iAdapt Air is carb compliant and able to be sold in the state of California. Since it's a topic that often comes up when people are shopping for air purifiers, let's talk about potentially harmful byproducts for a second. So by potentially harmful byproducts, I'm talking about things such as formaldehyde and ultrafine particles that could infiltrate your lungs and cause a little bit of discomfort or other issues. So there are technologies out there or even air purifiers on the market today that will produce these potentially harmful byproducts. Formaldehyde, for instance, can be caused whenever there's an incomplete degradation of certain chemicals. So it doesn't break it all the way down and instead creates a secondary byproduct of formaldehyde, which you don't want to breathe in. Some products will also take larger particles in the air and oxidize them down into smaller particles, which can cause discomfort and lung disease issues. But rest assured, knowing that the iAdapt Air 2.0 series has been tested by third-party accredited labs and proven to have a net reduction of formaldehyde as well as other VOCs up to 99%. We often run into customers who will say they're sensitive to Wi-Fi. So while many of us enjoy the pleasures of being able to use an app to control our air purifier or other devices in our home, there are those people who are sensitive to Wi-Fi who simply don't want it. There's also situations where people may work for a government building or other type of facility that for security reasons do not allow connected devices. Therefore, we've made the Wi-Fi chip in the Airways' iAdapt Air series easy to remove. You simply pop off the top cover, you then remove one screw, unplug the Wi-Fi chip, and dispose of it properly. Then you no longer have to worry about anything with Wi-Fi if it does cause you any sort of discomfort. Let's do a quick overview 
of the many great features in the iADAPT Air 2.0 series. The IAQ sensor consists of an air quality ring, which will go from green to orange to red based on your overall indoor air quality. It also has a digital readout of the number of particles in your air. So if you have one of these in your kitchen, for instance, and you're cooking and a lot of smoke gets into the air, you'll actually see the number of particles increase on that digital readout. And as the air gets clean, the particles will decrease just to show you how effective the unit actually is. We actually have a percentage of remaining filter life on our iAdapt Air. So as you use that filter, it'll go from 100% all the way down to 0%. So that way you know the exact time you need to replace your filter instead of just waiting for panic mode when the red light goes off. And it does this based on three main factors. How many particles are in your air, how long you've been running the unit, and at what fan speed. The iAdapt Air 2.0 series contains a timer for auto shut off. It also contains an in-app scheduler, so you can download the Air Oasis home app and set any schedules you want. It also contains a night mode, so you can turn off all lights and all sounds at night while you're sleeping for a good night's rest. There are four different fan speed settings you can choose from. An auto mode, which will automatically adjust fan speed based on indoor air quality, as well as the ability to control both the UV and ionization features of this product. You can turn them on or off via the control panel or via the app. And one last great thing to mention about the iAdapt Air 2.0 series, you won't find a quieter air purifier. Literally, I have a small iAdapt Air and an iAdapt Air Pro running right beside me as we're filming this video and you probably never even noticed. These things are quieter than a whisper. So that's the basic breakdown of the iAdapt Air 2.0 series by Air Oasis. For additional information on how to select the right air purifier for you or to size an air purifier properly, please visit us online at airoasis.com and a member of our customer excellence team would be more than happy to walk you through the process. Thank you very much for your time.